This man has two passions, flying airplanes and building robots. Combining the two, you end up with something like this. A lightweight drone packed with electronics. It all began with a research project at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne. Here, Jean-Christophe Zufferet developed an autopilot system for miniature flying robots as part of his PhD. The project developed so quickly that it became a spin-off company. Named SenseFly, the firm now sells one drone a week, and orders are increasing. So it works like an iPhone. Uh, you shake it to talk to it. So now if I want to check whether the camera is well attached to the autopilot, I shake it three times up and down, and it opens the camera like this. Then again, three times, it will close the camera. Now if I want it to take off, I shake it three times again, but back and forth, like this. Then I can just launch it. The drone can be programmed by a laptop. All you have to do is to find the routes or area you want it to fly through, and the rest is automated. It's equipped with a light camera, enabling it to take hundreds of high-resolution aerial photos. It can fly for 30 minutes, and cover up to 10 square kilometers. It not only creates aerial photos that are far more detailed than satellite images, but by combining the images with the flight data, the users can quickly obtain virtual 3D models of a terrain. Among the applications we are targeting now are farmers that want to get an overview of their crops. For example, in order to, to fine tune the way they spread fertilizers, or to track diseases that can happen. So they, they, they are interested in getting fresh and, and frequent maps or overviews, aerial views of their, their crops. Further potential missions for the mini drone are measuring resources extracted from mines and enhancing security at these sites. Or surveying forests to get an overview of the variety of trees or to spot the spread of disease. The mini drone carries a price tag of 10,000 francs. Because of its light weight and the autopilot system, SenseFly can be operated without special training. Should it crash, it's too small and weighs so little that it can't do significant damage to anything. While the device is in the process of establishing itself on the market, it's already been integrated into various projects at the Federal Institute. There is a nice project looking at how we can put together many of these uh, small flying systems to basically have them flocking together like birds, such that they can spread over a larger area and, for example, map it more quickly than having a single one. Another application is uh, helping in a disaster area, for example, and you, and you send a rescuer teams. If you think of, a, of an earthquake, for example, everything is destroyed, therefore you cannot rely on the existing infrastructure anymore. So having a flock of flying robots above them could help them getting an overview, situational awareness, basically, and communicating over uh, the network that would be hanging over their heads. 